This is how rock stars live on the road, but tourists have taken their place. Who slept here? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Joey and Trent Hemphill have been building buses for everyone from presidents to pop stars for 40 years. We've done all of Tina Turner's farewell tours. And there's Dolly Parton. Right there. Uh -huh. The Hemp Hills grew up touring as a successful gospel group that even performed on TNN before borrowing money from their dad in 1980 to buy their first bus to rent out. Now they have over 100 buses. 2020 was, was going to be our biggest year. It was already booked as our biggest year. Then came COVID and $30 million in cancellations. We did not have a departure from this lot for three months. So the brothers put their heads together and decided to market to Americans who saw their cruises or international trips disappear. And my brother just came up with this phrase, you know, travel like a rock star. The buses are a lot like being on a five-star cruise. They can sleep up to 12 people, and each part of the bus can be closed off for privacy. Drivers are tested for COVID before any trip, and they stay in pre-arranged lodgings. The $1,500 a day average cost includes the driver because you cannot drive these yourself. What kind of turning radius do I have here? Unless you talk them into it in the company parking lot. So who's renting? The Calderon family was planning to go to South Africa, but when that went away, here we are during COVID season, the guys have masks. They spent about the same amount of money to rent a hemp hill bus and tour America. And this reminded me that this country is incredible, that has amazing things. Just the tiredness that you expect to come from a road trip, I did not, I did not feel. I personally sleep better on the bus oh, than, yeah. than at home. because You tell that to everybody. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the, the truth. truth. Even when live concerts return, the brothers plan to keep a portion of their fleet for tourists. And every day brings a new surprise. Well, we, we found a prosthetic leg. Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, not long <laughs> ago. That's true. On a bus, okay? Uh, and that was kind of a, that was a crazy. That was kind odd. of crazy, yeah. yeah. For the news, I'm Jane Wells in Nashville, Tennessee. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.